What's up guys, this is The Shield Skater and we are here at The Shit Magazine series, so welcome to a new skate conversation. Today's skate talk is definitely very important because we will be talking about maybe the worst enemy that any skateboarder or athlete in the world can have, and I'm talking about the injuries. And I know nobody wants to talk about accidents and injuries, but I really consider that it's a necessary topic to talk about for any skateboarder in order to know what we should do when accidents happen. So today we have some cool recommendations to deal with them. Do you want to be part of this skate talk? Then welcome to this conversation. This is the shit trick tip. Well, today we are talking about skateboarding injuries and what to do when accidents happen. So, as skaters, we are constantly falling. That's a fact. No matter the skills, no matter how technical we can be, no matter how many times we have landed that trick, the reality is that we can fall at any time. Any skateboarder can fall at any time. So, as oh, skateboarders, we need to realize the fact that the danger of falling is always there. This is something that makes part of skateboarding, and in this way, we just have to live with that fact. The challenge here is to know how skilled we can be to build some good confidence and good defense for the falls and for the accidents in general. And what I mean with building a good defense is to become physically and mentally strong enough to the point we can feel that our body is like a shield. A shield that is always able to respond well to protect us after any bad fall that we can experience. For example, Naya Houston is a good reference of what we are talking about. So let's take a look at the next moment that happened in the 2017 Chicago Street League stop. This is Naya Houston. Ah, he doesn't have a chance to win. He's got to make two out of the next three. Oh, ow! Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's hope he's okay right there. That was not how you want to land on your knee, and I, I hope he can stand up from that one. That might be, that might be the last that we see of him, though. I'm going to take it again. And Nigel Houston, he has two tries left. You just saw him take a crazy slam. This is it. He needs an 8.5 average to take the lead. And straight into the trick. That about blew his knee out. That's what makes him Nigel Houston. That's right. I really appreciate everything that happened in this highlight. Nigel Houston is showing how strong his mind and body is to respond well in an unexpected fall like the one he had in this street league moment. Anyway, the important point here is to always keep in mind how powerful and useful it is to have a good defense or a good shield for the fault. And as we were saying, a good shield or a good defense is a strong mind and a strong body. Then let's work on building them and as always, let's find a balance between them. Oh, ow! Oh, uh oh! And straight <laughs> into the trick! When it comes to injuries and accidents, we already know that the best accident is the accident that never happens, is the accident that we are able to prevent. And of course, the best way to prevent accidents is by quitting skateboarding, but I'm sure that we are not going to do that. So a good way to prevent accidents without having to get off skateboarding is by listening sincerely to what our skills and intuition have to say about the trick that we are about to do. Do we have the skills that it takes to try that trick in the difficulty in which we are trying it? Or maybe we need to practice it a little bit more in other easier spots in order to prevent falls that we are not expecting. We all know that when it comes to skating, it is very important that we always skate with confidence. But we don't have to overestimate the confidence that we feel to the point we are not totally conscious of the trick or the stunt that we are about to try. And to picture this, I want to share a personal story with you. The last time I was skating at one amazing spot in my city and then I was looking for a line of three tricks. So my first trick was going to be a hard flip down a gap. Then I just started to try the line and try the line until I felt I got the technique for that first trick, for that hard flip. 
So I just started to land that hard flip constantly in most of the tries, and then I just believed that I got the trick. But that was my biggest mistake. My mistake was to overtrust that hard flip to the point I lose the concentration and the consciousness for the technique of that trick. And that's the moment when shit happens. And that's how shit happened in that situation, in that experience, in that ski session. So take a look at this. We must never forget that skating is a mindfulness discipline. And in this way, it doesn't matter if we master a trick, we should always try that trick with respect. Never forgetting that any trick requires a certain technique, a technique that requires concentration and consciousness. So no matter how confident we feel with any trick, we should never overestimate any of the tries that we do. There will be moments, like in my case with this experience, that we will be injured by the accident. And we will notice that it is an injury because we will feel a bigger pain than usual. So the best that we can do when this sadly moment comes is to test how painful and serious the injury is at this moment. What is happening when you touch the affected sun? On a scale of 1 to 10, what is your pain after the fall? These might be good questions to ask ourselves in a moment like that. You know, we need to try to discover how bad the accident was. But we should do that in the most passive way possible, trying to stay as still as we can and always by listening to what our body is telling us to do with the pain that it is making us feel at that moment. And that was it for today's Skate Talk, guys. I really hope that you learned something new and that you find useful this video in a certain way. So it would be nice that if you like this video, you can share it with your friends and of course that you can like and subscribe to this amazing channel. This is the Shit Magazine community and we are waiting to see your talent. We are waiting to see your clips. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and always remember to skate safe.